Sorry this is a bit dark people. Um, what I'm doing now is I'm preparing the plate that will hold the um, vanes for the uh, Volt Turbine. And uh, what I've done is I've drawn or sort of scribed a line from corner to corner on this piece of um, 250 by 250 piece of 3mm uh, steel and I've now centred the fixing holes so that they are in the centre and on the scribe lines and what I'm going to do now is make sure I don't move it and mark where I need to drill. What this will do is it will keep the threaded bar that I'm going to be using absolutely in the right place. Lovely jubbly. Right. Now you all know how to drill holes so I'm not going to bore you with uh, showing you what I'm doing. Um, the next bit is to get one of these, um, which corner of this, if I move that that way I'll be able to show you, won't I? <laughs> uh, and then this uh, L-shaped bracket will be going on there, bolted into position, and then this part will actually hold the vein like so, but it, it'll be uh, longer than this hand in the center obviously and uh, there'll be one on each uh, corner. Uh, no, they won't be facing that way, I just did that for demonstration. They will be facing that way with a piece of plastic coming this way to help catch the uh, um, Lens vein, they're called. Lens veins. That's what I'm going to be using. So I'll um, again. I use the line, scribe line, to center everything up. Then I'll mark it out, drill it, and then I can bolt these on it as well. But that's that's later. At the moment, we're concentrating on uh, mounting the turbine to the plate. With the uh, threaded bar. Now, the other thing is, well, I am not going to be drilling a hole through the middle because there's a hole in there. I'm gonna get a um, a bottle top, and I should glue that in position. Um, but the wires will be coming out uh, this end because that's, that's got the thread on it. Do you know I'm terrible trouble getting this in camera these days. Uh, that's got the thread on it and this will be going on the thread for the fixing. So the uh, wires will be coming down and out that way and this will then become the top and there'll be a, a bottle cap over that after it's all assembled um, just to keep the moisture out as best as I can and then any moisture build up will then drip out the bottom OK peeps OK peeps uh, because I should be turning this upside down I'm going to cut these cable ties and then feed these cable, pull these cables out and then feed them back up through to come out the uh, threaded end, which is where I want them. So, uh, let's get started. When you're doing this, be, you know, be aware that um, you're dealing with very thin wires here. 
So, uh, what I shall do, and I just cut them off, but I wanted to cut him off because I didn't know whether he'd gone brittle. So I want to replace it with this one, which is brand new, so that I can tie the end of the cables going to the coils down to a coil and it will uh, it'll stop pulling on the coils so much. Right, uh, untwist this pair. And I'm going to pull them out one at a time. I'm not going to be stupid and try and pull them all out at once. Right, uh, black first, I think, because that's on top. Just go and get some pliers. Chat me a minute. Okay, pliers. Now, if you're a youngster doing this and you're not sure exactly what to do, ask your dad or your brother or whoever that can uh, give you a hand and just very very gently tease out and once you've got it out so that you can grab it with your fingers it's always best to use your fingers because that isn't going to damage the cable Obviously, that as the wires come out, um, right, which one's next? Brown, that's the brown one. Um, yeah, as as you take them out, the, they get easier and easier. Oops. Now don't panic if you do break the insulation because um, you can put the heat shrink over the, the top so it's uh, not a complete disaster. Uh, there we go. Right. The blue one, yeah, it's nice and loose. So is the white one. Yeah. Oops, see, I broke that off because I pulled too hard. So I've got to uh, repair that. Luckily, it broke off at the end where the solder joint was, so that's not a disaster. But it's the sort of thing you've got to watch out for. This one off, lay the wires out so I can find the one that broke and uh, set about repairing it. Uh, very, very careful. These, these wires are thin and as you've seen they will break very easily. There's the broken one. Right, there it is there. Right, uh, that is solid. Um, I'd rather it a lot looser than that, but that's the uh, manufacturer's way of doing it. And there's the uh, protection that uh, 
that wire I had. Right, I'm not going to use that, it's too small. Um, this is quite hard, so I suppose it's a good thing. Right, um, I'm going to straighten this one out. Let it go in. No, it's not having it. Right, so what I'm going to have to do is get some heat shrink and do it that way. Yes, I'll do it that way. And also, when I um, uh, cable tie them back down, they're going down in here, underneath the bearing, so that it's well away from, um, well away from here. So it'll be down here, out the way. Uh, no, it would be this way, out the way. Right, so I'll take that to the bench and repair that, and then I'll come back.